Good evening, everyone. My name is Christine Chapman. I am presenting to you the life of Corey Aquino. She is the 11th president of the Philippines, and she is the first female president in the Philippines. She was born on January 25th in 1933. She was finished Bachelor of Friends in Mathematics. She married with Benigno Aquino Jr. in 1954, and they have five children. And she had um, one boy and four girls. Her one boys, her one boy, he was the 15th president in the Philippines also. His name is Benigno Aquino III. And recently, he just passed away for the um, the renal the renal um, failure, and and Corey Aquino was married in nineteen um, fifty four, um, and um, her husband was jailed in nineteen seventy two to nineteen eighty when during uh, Marcos um, time. So um, when Marshall um, in nineteen in nineteen eighty to nineteen eighty three, the family of Aquino was moved. They they moved to Boston, Massachusetts, and and during when they was in Boston, uh, Corey Aquino went to uh, pursue her college education in Boston, and. And then her husband re returned to the Philippines in 1983, and her husband was assassinated by um, by um, the government when when he when he arrived in the country, and that the time her husband died and Corey Aquino came home to the Philippines to um to bury her husband. And so Mrs. Corey Aquino, he decided to face the opposition after her husband's death. And, um, and President Marcos are um, running again for a president in and Corey Aquino decided to face him, and and um, and Marcus's are are underestimate her power because they call her as a housewife. So after the election, Corey Aquino was um, declared she is a winner, and she was sworn um, in the office in 1987. And and she is the has those uh, presidential powers for a lot of Filipinos, and I remember that until now she named and remembered a mother of a Philippine democracy. So Corey Aquino was was a, a social reformer for a mini Filipino sex as a product of, of a, you know, a biggest example and too many women adore her that everybody can do like what she does. And she, um, Corey Aquino, she is the biggest loyal believer of the Catholic faith. She is the biggest, the biggest person to restore the style of, of the democracy in the Philippines. And she is a very simple woman.
to run the country as a simple and entering her strength, entering her character as a loyal and entering her um her hope and kindness and heart to those a lot of Filipino as needed as she as she can serve to all her people. Cory Aquino is the famous the famous person and a female that could do the best she can and the woman content and the letter she is the leader of the democracy as she can help a lot of people that are struggling struggling to out of poverty she do the best she can but it's because philippines is over population and a lot of corruptions and it's too many things to be done in that country but when i was remember she is the one who bring back democracy in the philippines when she was the president of that country and she died last last 2009 because of her illness i could never forget her when i having my baby last 2009 12 years ago I remember her the her hospital and my hospital where I deliver my my daughter we was in the same floor and and I seen her room in next next door where I was while I'm ha I'm having my baby so she passed away August the 1st in 2009. So I always remember when I growing up and so grateful that she bring democracy back to all Filipinos and I do appreciate it and I so grateful Although I'm, I wasn't there anymore, but my family and my friends that still there, they still, they still be happy and they still be um, proud of those democracy that she bringing it back. So I I always adore her because the way she is, a simplicity, a kindness, and a loving, showing to to all people how to love and respect another. I hope you guys like my presentation tonight and this is my last video and have a good evening everyone